What's going on everyone, Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I want to show you how you can animate text strokes inside of Adobe After Effects to create something that looks like this. Alright, let's get started. So when working with text inside of Adobe After Effects, you can add a stroke via the character panel. If you can't see the character panel, go to Window and select Character. So I have a text layer down here, and to add the stroke, I'm going to go over and select the stroke color. Then as I bring up the stroke width here, you'll notice that now there's a stroke on my text here. But I have no customization options. I mean, aside from changing it to stroke over fill, there really aren't any options. Even if I go down to the timeline panel on the layer, you'll see there's really nothing I can do to this stroke. So if I want to animate this stroke and bring it to life, I'm going to need to change a few things. So let me show you how to do that in just a few simple steps. Okay, let's take it to the very beginning here. For my first step, I need to create a text layer. And to do that, I can simply select a type tool and type directly in the composition panel, or I can highlight the timeline and select layer, new text. Now that I have that selected, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the word stroke. And then I'm gonna reposition this to the center by going to the align panel and positioning horizontally and vertically center. Now the cool thing about text layers in After Effects is that they are vectors. Now what that means is it continuously rasterizes. So as I scale up, you're not going to lose any sharpness. Those edges are going to be super sharp. It's always going to be very much in focus. So I'm going to take that back down to 300. Okay, so now we have our text. So for step two, I'm going to convert my text layer into a shape layer. And the reason I'm doing this is because shape layers offer a bit more versatility when working with animation features. So to do this, I'm going to select my layer, go to Layer, Create Shapes from Text. Now as I mentioned earlier, when working with text layers, we just didn't have the number of options that we needed when it came to using and uh, animating our stroke. So by converting this to a shape layer, it's going to open up some animation features that are going to allow us to animate that stroke. So now let's have a closer look at our layers here. So I just created this shape layer. It automatically turned off the visibility of our text layer. And if you'll notice, you can see the difference between a shape layer and a text layer by these symbols here. The text layer is denoted by a capital T and the shape layer has a star. So if we open up the shape layer, open up the contents, you're gonna see that there's each individual letter is saved out as a shape element. Each individual letter has its own path, it has its own fill and stroke information, and it has its own transform information, or transform properties. So what I want to do basically is I want to add another stroke here that I will be able to control, because even though each individual letter has its own stroke, I want to be able to control the stroke of the entire word. So to do that, I go over here to this Add button, and for step three I'm going to add a stroke. So when I select this, you'll notice right here I can add a stroke. So I'm going to add a stroke, it adds it to the bottom here. Now, we want to isolate this stroke, so to do that, I need to go through and I need to turn off the fill of each of these letters, because if you look here, they're currently turned on. So to turn those off, I just kind of deselect these here, and go through and do each one. Now don't be confused here, we're seeing, if you look over here in the composition panel, this is actually showing you the shape path, so if I go down here to toggle mask and shape path visibility, that's going to turn that off, and now it's showing us the stroke. So I'm going to... Go through here and make sure all of these are turned off. And there we go, now we have our stroke. And if we look down here and look at our stroke, you're gonna see that we have all of these properties now that are all keyframable. So there's a lot of versatility, as I said before here. But we simply wanna animate the path of this stroke. We kinda of wanna have it animate in and animate out as you saw at the beginning of the tutorial. So to do that, I'm gonna to need to add another tool here to animate it. So this is step four. To animate it, I need to go and add a trim paths. So the trim paths tool is a very powerful tool. It gives us this range selector that allows us to customize the start and end of how the paths are trimmed, plus the offset. So watch what happens. This is basically going to trim the paths of all of these letters here. As I said before, each letter is its own individual path. So if I grab the end, and I start to bring this down, you're gonna see that it starts to trim the paths all the way down to if I go to zero. So now, if you figured it out, I can add a keyframe to this end here and I can create our animation now. So I can have, this will be our end 
and then the beginning will be zero. And now this is going to animate on, and then simply add another keyframe here, and it's going to animate back out. And there we go. We have a bit of an animation here. I'm going to kind of retime this. Now let's take a quick look. Okay, so there you go. We have our animation all complete. Everything's good to go. For our last step, all I really need to do now is customize the design and the animation. So now, as compared to what I showed you before using the text layer, now with our shape layers, we have a plethora of options. We can animate how everything's working here with the offset, the start, and the end. For instance, if I change this down a little bit and then animate the offset, you get some really cool effects. And now with uh, my stroke attributes, if I open this up, you can see there's just a plethora of things I can do here. I can animate the colors to change. I can change the width and animate the width. I can change the color to our cool premium beat style here. And there's just a variety of different things we can do. We can even add dashes. If we want to add some dashes. And you can animate the offset of the dashes to have it do this cool effect. Just a wide, wide variety of things you can do here with this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects. See you next time.